Hello, Aquarius. It looks like you have figured out the secret of secrets in manifesting your ideal partner. As a result, guess who's coming in? Let's dig in to see where this goes. Hello, everyone. Welcome in. This is an Aquarius Tower reading. It is a general reading, usually between two energies. Had a lot of multiples this week. Had some last week, too. Let's dig in to see what sort of theme we have for you today. Okay. Be the bridge. Number 51. Reduce to a six. Expand your consciousness to behold both worlds. This feels literal. Okay. Stand up and be recognized. Number 40, reduced to a four. Behold, you are the inspiration you've been looking for. We're still in a forest, it looks like, background on both. Hmm. There's something where, this is for an Aquarius who's learning to fine-tune their manifestation skills and learning how the, the veil between the 3D and the 5D, how to manifest from one to the other. There's something there specific for somebody. Um, which I totally understand. This is this is something that I learned not too long ago as well. Um, something about understanding the extent of personal power. And it's actually bigger than you ever thought or realized. Okay. So the, it's feeling less like a slave to suffering in life. It's like, no, 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 I'm not. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. Good. That's correct. You're not. Show me what's going on with Aquarius, please. Show me what's going on with Aquarius. Show me what's going on with Aquarius, please. world we're hitting a point of completion there that's a big lesson to learn it is fixed energy for those keeping track so taurus leo scorpio aquarius okay nine of pentacles three of pentacles moon pisces energy ace of cups hierophant that's taurus energy seven of cups king of wands leo energy so what i love about this is oftentimes when um, minor arcana shows up for a person. This means that your situation is entirely within your control. So you want new love? You want a new beginning? Not sure where this person is? Trying to refine what you believe you need as characteristics in a partner? Okay. So that's singular energy that's between you. So you haven't met or you haven't committed. It feels like you haven't met because that moon is covering. The moon is covering. The moon is covering the kind of person or the person that you would like to commit to. That's that's a proper partner. Okay. When it's all big energies for someone, the moon, the hierophant, king of wands, it's bigger, but not big, big. When it's all big energies, this means the universe is stepping in to make something happen. This is you stepping in to make something happen for you. See the difference? Okay. Um, I highly recommend using your own will as often as possible. Because <laughs> especially when the universe sees you helping yourself, it will then step in and help more. Okay. So you have figured out how to manifest your person. That's what you figured out. You figured out how to manifest new love. Okay. Clever minx. <laughs> this is gonna be quite a fruitful cycle. You know, you know it might take you a little bit of time, but as long as you're patient, you know it's going to work. You know it's going to work. Alright. Then let's get into this nine of pentacles, please. Nine of pentacles isn't just singular energy. Okay. It is the energy of someone who's made it in life. All of the little luxuries that go with that idea. Okay. Show me the nine of pentacles in the situation. 
King of Cups, Scorpio Energy, Nine of Wands. Page of Swords, Page of Wands. Ace of Pentacles, got it. Okay. You are a little bit gun shy about making the statement to the universe of what it is you want in a person. You're trying to not let your heart like grab it and run away with it because you want to manifest exactly the right situation in person for you. You don't want any shortcomings that cause another Three of Swords heartbreak um, or anything of the sort, anything that is a miss that makes you guys like ships passing in the night. You want this to be a dead set ringer. Okay. So you're really taking the time to think about what does that look like? What does that relationship look like? What is that person, the characteristics of that person? What is that like? What are the things I'm physically attracted to? You get to wish for that too, right? <laughs> so there's, there's the resistance on the execution, not resistance. There's the pause in the execution because you're not being hasty. You're not being hasty. You're getting really clear on exactly what you need before you make it real, before you give it to the universe to plant that seed, that Ace of Pentacles, plant that seed with the universe and let that plant blossom. This is exciting. This is super exciting. Show me the Three of Pentacles for Aquarius. Temperance card of Sag, Two of Cups. Ah, no problem. No problem with waiting. Until you find the cups that are two balanced cups. That soul bond. No problem waiting. Show me the ace of cups, please. Justice card of Libra. Magician, you find it. You find it, yes. And that's the choice right there. Got it. You learn somewhere through this process of figuring this out and of figuring out what to ask for that um, there's characteristics of those in previous relationships that you can cherry pick from. That not all of it was bad. Some of it's serving as ingredients to this recipe in the end. Okay. Show me the seven of cups, please. Judgment. Three of Cups. Seven of Pentacles, Four of Cups. There it is. There's the meeting. It becomes clear on what to plant. The universe helps you make it clear. Because this is the universe telling you it's time to get out there. To socialize, to date, to meet people, to move your physical energy in the world. To strut. <laughs> so you could find out where this divine opportunity is to plant with someone new, to make plans with someone. You have to get out there and look. So it's like once, if you try to loiter in, I need this to be exactly perfect for too long, you're going to miss the window. So the universe is going to tell you, okay, you got it. Now go. <laughs> okay. Let's see what's going on. This person. Show me the moon, please. Show me the moon for this person. The wheel. Page of cups. Whoop, gotta drop the whole thing. Okay. Eight of swords. Six of cups. Ooh. If this is online dating, whichever one of you, okay. Uh huh. It looks like they're going to send the message first. And you might not hear from them for a minute, but, but they are a soul bond, but they are a soul bond. I mean, obviously. Okay. Okay. There's something they discover about you that makes that maybe they reread your profile or something and they find a detail there that is compelling. There's something there where they f discover something where they, they finally apply, reply. Show me the higher foot, please. Show me the higher foot. 
I mean, the Harrison. Death card of Scorpio. Ten of Swords. Hermit card of Virgo. Seven of Swords. Chariot card of Cancer. Hmm. So there's some sort of, um, it's not coming across as sadness. This could be a very cerebral person. It could be. It could be. Very much living in their head. Um, there's something where it's like they almost have to be like, okay, I have to get out of my head and actually get in the car to meet them on the date kind of thing. There's something there where they go back and forth a lot before giving themselves permission to get out of their head and go on the date. There's something there. Show me the King of Wands, please. Two of Coins, Empress card of Taurus and Libra, Devil card of Capricorn. It's a little bit of intimidation here. They want to move slowly. A little bit of... The Devil's coming across as intimidation. They've never met someone like you. What do I do about this Empress? What do I do about this Empress? A little more about that devil, please. Ah, there is some courage he's going to have to draw in order to step up for this. Mm hmm There's something about you that brings excitement to them that helps them get going interesting and it's clear to them that this is some sort of long-term thing they do learn that you are a lover there's Gemini energy there they do learn that you are a lover and it's like as soon as they learn they want to they want to kind of nail things down very like very cerebral person like, this is the kind of brain, like, like an engineer, uh, a surgeon, uh, something, something like that. Interesting. I'm even getting a physicist? Like, Big Bang Theory? <laughs> I would love that show. Um, got it. He calculates. He calculates. So, he, that he made his calculations. This is the thing. I must be courageous and step up. This is clearly long term. Interesting. Interesting. How does Aquarius view this once they meet? How does Aquarius view this? You are stoked. Look at you. Queen of Cups, Eight of Cups, King of Swords, Sun, Seven of Wands, King of Wands. You don't want no one to take this away from you. Nope. Nope, you won't let anybody take this away from me. Nope, nope, it's not going to be possible. <laughs> no one's allowed to take it away from me. I get it. I get it. I get it. That's fair. Something to fight for, right? Alrighty, I'll head over to the extended. I'll see what's going on with his current energy, his near future, and the final outcome of the connection between you two in this lifetime. So if you are interested in any of that information along with messages from Spirit about the connection at this point in time. Messages between you, as well as timing. Feel free to follow me by clicking the link in the description box below. And I'll see you guys over there. Bye. Ooh.